the GNO 6A, my latest LEGO Max so far at a height of 30 centimeters or about one foot tall. It includes quite unique design elements and special joints at the hips to allow for it to handle its weight and size. Without any further ado, let's check it out. Okay, so now we're taking a closer look at the mech, taking a look at it from all sorts of different angles and viewpoints. And you can just see how awesome it is with its fairly unique design and unique design elements and and of course its main advantage or positive its size you can see that jet booster right at the back just looking fantastic it's a, it's a very unique design and it has a special gimmick and that special gimmick is that the booster can actually open up in a fairly unique manner that makes it look even more menacing. Just look at that cool design element right there. Makes the mech stand out even more. Another cool feature that this mech has? It's skirting. Which is fairly unique since none of my mechs actually have skirts. And this one has some really unique skirts as well as unique hip joints which are very interesting and you'll see them in more detail in the coming scenes. In terms of articulation this mech is fairly good especially for its size so let's check it out. Side to side rotation as well as the up and down movement make up the main movement for the head. The shoulders are on ball joint and can rotate all the way around as well as move out to about 90 degrees and rotate slightly in their position. You have this moving guard which moves out of the way to allow for bicep rotation. You have a bend at the elbow that gives you basically 180 degrees, basically all that you want. At the wrist you have rotation as well as outwards and inwards movement and the fingers do articulate. There's a torso rotation with this really cool mechanism with all the like the bars holding up the torso and take a look at it from a different spot. You have the previously mentioned skirts which do move and the hips do move forwards. They're slightly limited because of the knee armor, but if you move it around you can get it to move forwards a lot more. There is outwards movement which is pretty good. And you also have rearwards movement. And another cool thing with this hip joint is you have thigh rotation. There's a ratchet joint knee which allows for about 90 degrees of rotation of bend. And there is rotation at that point, but it's not really meant to be used. And you have the knee armor which does hinge up and down. You have this little thruster at the back which can move up and down. And finally, the ankles are on a ball joint and they move forwards nicely, backwards nicely, side to side as well, and do rotate. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you like this new type of filming. If you do so, then please don't forget to like and comment down below and tell me your recommendations as well. Thank you for watching, please do go ahead and subscribe. You can also check me out on Instagram at the tech builder. that is the, the tech builder. You can also check me out on Flickr, I'll leave links to both of these in the description box below. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.